Hello and welcome fellow auditors to Audit Rewinds. I am your host commentator and here on this channel you will find the latest and greatest audits I have found and compiled together. Here at Audit Rewind we react, criticize and add commentary to some pretty insane clips uploaded to the internet. Before we get started, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if this is your first time here as you will not regret it. Well you guys, in today's first video we have a clip from Sad Dad and in this particular clip we are going to be witnessing some uh, uh, genuinely breathtaking speechless police action. This dude is going for police accountability, he is going to perform an audit on this cop and he is going to start filming and the cop doesn't like it basically. Take a look at this video and see what happens next. You need to stop right now. You right just now. door checked me. Back away no, from my car I am right not going to back away. Back away you from need my to back right off now. now. Name and badge number place. now. Back away from Name me right now. Name and badge number now. Name and badge number. Back away from no. Me right now. You, don't get you just attacked me with car. your car door. Name and badge number now. Mr. McCullough, if you don't Name and badge number now. Walk away or you're under arrest. For what? For what? You know, walk up on the back I will walk the wherever I want. And I will record you not doing your job, won't I? At this point in the audit, Sadad is going around the vehicle exercising his First Amendment rights, and this cop seemed to be startled by his presence and had a very, very big uh, response, shall we say, in banging open the door and getting a bit uh, worried. He seemed to force himself outside that door fast because he uh, got a bit scared of this auditor because the guy was holding a camera. And I think that was a really unreasonable response. Uh, my criticism of this video so far, and we have barely made it a quarter of the way into this audit, is that this cop is trying to find something to get this guy for, but he can't. So he's just stood there like a bit of a lemon and doesn't really know what to do. Let's see what happens next. You need to stop right now. You right just now. door checked me. Back no, I am right not going to back away. Back away you need to back right off now. now. Name and badge number place. now. Back away from Name me right and now. badge number now. Name and badge number back away from no. Right now. You, don't get you just attacked me car. with your car door. Name and badge McCullough. number now. Mr. McCullough, if you don't Name and away, badge number Ryan now. Walk away or you're under arrest. For what? For what? You know, walk up on the back I will walk the wherever I want. And I will record you not doing your job, won't I? There's not a damn thing you can do about it, is there? No. Stop and die. You just attacked me with the door. And that means what? I can record you, can't I? So shut the fuck up and get in your car, bitch. You know, I'm recording as well. Okay, and? You attacked me with the door. No, 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 Did no. you not just hit me with the door? You're not block me <laughs> Motherfucker, I wasn't blocking you. I was recording you. I was recording you. Stop trying to change. This is no, f you. No, f your safety. You want safety? Get a real job. Off. You don't tell me a goddamn thing, you stupid mother. So up until this point the interaction has been extremely heated, but I feel like the cop has thought things through after a bit of a weird and silly decision to barge this auditor with the door, claiming that the auditor was stood in the way blocking it and that he intended to get out at that moment anyway. 
Well, I guess he would try and argue that's obstruction if it ever went further to court. But after all this, the auditor is now continuing to perform his First Amendment right freely, while this cop really doesn't know what to do. He seems to have radioed through to base a couple times. I don't know if he's trying to figure out if he has jurisdiction to do an ID stop, uh, perform a traffic stop or a detainment uh, for disorderly conduct or whatever else they're going to pull out of the magic bag. But let's see what happens next in part three, because I feel like the only criticism I can give this audit is perhaps not to yell at the cop, but I mean, that's really just petty. Um, and if you've had a door, you know, slammed on your leg, you're probably going to do a bit more than yelling. So I think he's doing quite well up until this point. Yes, traitor. Did you take an oath to the Constitution of the United States of America? Huh? Did you take an oath to the Constitution of the United States? You just tried violating my First Amendment right to record, didn't you? Did you not just try to violate my First Amendment? Did you not just try to violate mine? No, I didn't. I was recording you not doing your job. And I'm going to. Okay. Still not doing your goddamn job, are you? Well, it's kind of hard for me to do my goddamn job. Get in your car, which is a patrol vehicle, and go patrol! <laughs> yeah, I can tell you what to do, paid public servant. He struck you with his car? Yes, he attacked me with his car door. You swung it open, you hit me in the elbow, you attacked me with the goddamn car door. I can stand wherever the fuck I want, can't I? No, I didn't. You didn't even notify me you were trying to open the door. You swung it open with force. I have it on camera. You have a fucking gun and a taser and we got what? A little fucking punk ass is what he is. Get the in the car. Really you engaged me. Yeah, you engaged me. You're not going to tell me what to do, are you? Get your hands out of your pockets. Don't do this. Don't do that. You ain't telling me a goddamn thing, are you? I love the whole officer safety thing. Get in your car and we're done. I will f***ing record whatever the f*** I want. Honey, honey. Because you're a little pussy to change it. This audit interaction has to be up there with one of the more heated ones I've featured here on this channel. Now, pun not intended as it looks absolutely boiling hot that weather, but this cop claims that perhaps the guy was in the way. But the problem is guys, put yourselves in the position of the cop. Your Most cops are going to make it clear. I, Sadad said that most cops, or you should have, wind the window down, wound the window down and said, I need to get out of the car, please move. Instead of just barging open the door. That's what I was expecting this officer to do when Sadad went up to the side of the window was for him to roll the window down. He's holding a camera to the window, not a weapon. Okay, I guess some cop think a camera is a weapon nowadays as it can be used against them in many many ways but unfortunately this cop is stood here with his fist clenched he seems very angry in my opinion that he can't really do anything and he has been totally and utterly silenced by these auditors and he generally seems a bit confused as to what to do here Anyway, go subscribe to Sadad, link will be down below, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I don't know if it's Sadad or Sadad or something like that, but uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me the name, but it definitely will have a meaning for you, so I respect that. Go subscribe to their channel and uh, let's get into our next one. What am up though folks, your favorite. So I've recently been watching Audit Them quite a lot now and I love his audits because he does this really interesting thing where he goes into public buildings and state buildings and he will ask for public record requests, FOIA requests, uh, requests on salaries, requests on multiple different things. But the thing is, it's kind of a sneaky thing they do nowadays to get rid of auditors like Audit Them is they've now made all the FOIA requests 
online they try and you know they try and technologize is that even a word they try and make everything on the internet so there's no accountability there's no face-to-face -face, real human accountability and you have to just talk to a computer and type things into a screen so they can hide behind a screen well audit them doesn't accept that and he likes to fill in his foyers and his public record requests in person face to face accountable so take a look at this video as they try and call the cops on him because the manager of this building gets scared because the guy's asking to do a foyer and a public records request in person oh no what i'm up though folks your favorite auditor audit them the one who encourages you to audit them i am in the beautiful city of el porto el porto Florida, beautiful day, it's about 80 degrees out, and I am inspecting government records. Alrighty, hello, I'd like to file a chapter 119 request. Is that a public request for information? Public record request, yes, sir. Don't record me, please. Yeah, oh, yes, I have... Um, right, right. I am with Chapter 119. Uh, I could point that camera in a different direction. But um, I actually uh, want to file a oral request. I I interview the residents who you cited. What in the hell is my only response right now? Audit them has been in the building for what, maybe five minutes at most, maybe ten? He walks outside and there is literally an entire squad of police. We have two, I think maybe three squad cars, we have a supervisor, we have four cops, and all of this for a guy asking for a public records form. Uh, yeah, kind of worrying. Very, very worrying, actually. But uh, you're going to find out in part two who called the cops, why they called the cops, and also how the cops react in this situation, which I think might surprise you. So, take a look. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I came to file a chapter 119 request. Okay. Public records. And the guy started saying that um, that I have to do it in a specific way, in a specific format. I'm sorry, you live here, right? I don't answer those type of questions. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, I just wanted to. You said that you wanted to file, so I don't know if you're arrested. If right. You're well, chap That's chapter all. 119 is a state law. Okay. Yeah. All municipal bodies are subject to public disclosure. Okay. And um, I just informed the gentleman uh, for a public record request. Okay. But let's wait for the other. I don't want to keep talking in circles. Sure, yeah, sure. I really don't even want to engage with the police. You sound like a fair, reasonable man. The sure. other police officer, he came in a little tough, okay. but I had to set him a little straight and inform him that anything he says can will be used against him in the court of law under a cross-examination. Okay. Yeah. Letters, maps, tapes, records, sound. Sir, was there a need to call the police? Yes. Why? Supposing you, I, I, I saw some bad attitude between you and Franco. Oh, goodness me. This is what I mean, you guys. When I say that the 911 dispatchers have to be trained more, this again is a perfect example. The manager of this building has called 911 an emergency line, I believe, because he thinks that the receptionist was having to deal with some rudeness from audit them. Now, arguing with someone, no way, shape or form dictates you being allowed to call the cops. I'm sorry, they are an emergency service and they are there to protect and serve people and uphold the constitution and the laws of the land. Someone arguing at a reception is a civil matter and it's not going to be something where the police have to get involved unless there is issues that are escalating to violence or a major breach of the peace and disorderly conduct. Having a bit of a disagreement over a public records form is not that, in my opinion, and I think you'd all agree. But let's see what else this building manager has to say for justifying why he called the cops on a guy holding a camera asking to fill out a bit of paper. Attitude or, or wrong attitude. 
We need mediation about that. Right. That's now, it. This is the best. Right. Now, you know what was the miscommunication? Mr. Frank believes that I have to fill out on a standard form a Chapter 119 file, which mm -hmm. is incorrect. And I tried to explain to him, but he feels that he's being harassed simply because I'm recording my interaction. Now, I think it's no, you, need, you need to request permission to record anything. That's not correct, sir. You can record me. Do you, you just record me? I'm recording audio and no, video. I yes. don't have authorization. Okay. I don't get to the authorization to, re to record me. My man. No, we will finish the conversation. I okay. don't want to pay any recording. Hello, Mr. Frank. Officer, I had a question. It's okay. Si, it's okay. Si. Uh, my man, uh, you know that the people have the right to record the government employees when they're working for the government. Yeah, it's freedom of speech. Yeah, right. Are, yeah, you see my fine. friend? No. He says it's okay because he's a law officer. And I informed you that there's case law that permits the people to record employees in the official course of their duties. Why? Because you're supposed to be honest with the public trust. But you, to start any record, you... Pre previous said to me, I recorded this conversation. No, sir. No, 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 no. You no, you no can record me? I called you. Yeah. You can't the thing, the thing somebody, somebody can't do is they can't come in recording secretly. Like if they're recording in their pocket, that's this area here. And I take pictures of all the maps and the plats on the wall, which is public record. Then I go right there and I start filming the employees. Yes, I'd like to file a chapter 119 request. Mm -hmm. The lady tells me, please don't record me. Well, she didn't say please, but she said, don't record me. Okay. She said, I have the right to record, but I told her, I'll tell you what. So this cop is listening intently, which I find respectful and good, but he shouldn't even be there. Let's be honest, he shouldn't. Audit them doesn't want him there. Uh, the police don't want to be there, they know they shouldn't be there, it's a waste of their time, there could be some serious things happening downtown where they need to be on the scene and perhaps they'll get a call but because they're in this stupid building with a manager who is calling cops because of a verbal disagreement, they uh, can't get there in time because perhaps they need to save someone's life. This is a scenario that I would like to bring up as to what could go wrong as to what happens when police waste their time because male Karen managers decide to call the cops on people auditing. In this case, Audit Them has had to educate everyone in this building, including law enforcement, but something tells me by the look on their face, they know the truth. They just don't want to admit it. Please don't record me. Well, she didn't say please, but she said don't record me. She said I have the right to record, but I told her, I'll tell you what, I'll take the camera away from your direction, because it's a lady, but besides lady or whatever, she works for the government. So I told her, okay, I'll move the camera from you. And the guy had an issue, so then, sir, I need to file chapter 119. He said, okay, give me one second. He opened up the file cabinet and gave me what you got in your hand, a template. I no, this is, this is not a template. This is our village of Oportal public request form. Right, I hear okay. what you're saying, my man. All right. So he gave me a template. He gave me his standard form. But I informed to him that I'd like to file a oral request. We do not grant that here because we do not have those capabilities. Sir? All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Your employees are intelligent. They have the capability of writing down an oral request. They do not. They're, they, they're not. No, no, no. You want a public record request orally. Yeah, to submit a public record request oral. Right. But so you want the employee to, to write it. To write it. To write what you're saying. Because yes. you cannot write it yourself in here. No, it's not about I could write it or not. It's about the state law grants the so, employee to right. write down the oral request. So you, you came into the village today. Yeah. To get an oral request. Sure. To make sure that one of the employees writes down what you have to tell them because you couldn't write it yourself. Uh, no, it's not because I couldn't write okay. it myself. It's because the state law specifies that an employee is supposed to honor an oral request or verbal request. Okay. Right. But the cute part is he didn't honor that. All right. I got it on state code, my man. Right. I don't have First the... First of all, I'm not, yeah. I'm not my man. I am officer. Okay. Rest. Okay, so go okay. ahead. Continue. Okay, my man. Okay, I am not my man. Okay. I already said. Yeah. Address me. 
accordingly. Okay, Go ahead. sir, I have freedom of speech. I'd like to call you my man right now. It's just mutual respect. Yeah, but but you, I like you. I like I respect you a lot because you you know your officer. Oh no, this was going so well. The first officer that arrived was peaceful, he was good at listening, and he was respectful. This cop seems to be a bit more triggered, and is now trying to make an argument out of how the auditor is addressing him. That should be the least of his concerns right now, and once again, we have now gone down to the level of, as I would call, petty policing. Petty policing is something where cops will pick out stupid things that don't even need attention. For example, this auditor calling the guy my man rather than sir. People all around the world address their friends, address other guys and ladies how they do based on their upbringing, their culture and their variety and use of language. This is something that the officer shouldn't even be bringing up in this scenario as he should be trying to solve this situation as quickly as possible but it seems to me like he is just making more barriers, more walls and more problems to an already petty stupid problem. You, you know your officer, I filed my request here which is one request, the list roster and I just need a copy, somebody to put the date and right. give me a copy of this and my business will be concluded. Right. I received So how are we gonna how are we gonna do a request if you're taking that with you? No, <sighs> sir, a copy for your public right. record custodian. So so just for the record, as you're saying, yeah. you were kind enough to write it behind this piece of paper, right. but you couldn't be kind enough to write it in the front where it has the same type of information. Sir, sir, it's so not So who's been difficult? Wait a minute. It's not about First of all, that wasn't any of his claim. His claim, his, his claim was nothing about me writing on the back or the front. He's not even aware if I wrote it on the back or the front. Okay. Plus, no, no, I am aware because yeah. as you're showing me, you wrote it on the back of right. the same form right. that we used to do a public request, right. but yet you couldn't do it on the actual form right. because you wanted to do it in the back. Well, here's the thing. I'm doing that to prove a point to, right. to everybody that's watching. Right that the law stands firm right. and ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Right. Because so you it came says here today to be difficult to harass uh, uh, employees here at a Village of El Portal. At the end, you still wrote your request on the piece of paper that you were given, but not the correct way. So I want you to tell me how does that make any sense? Sir, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law under a cross-examination. Yes. You use the word right. harassment, everything is on video. That's, what, that's how they feel. You are disturbing their peace, their quiet. <laughs> Sir, I am filing a chapter 119 request. That's and not disturbing the peace. You that's are they disturbing must comply. their peace and their quiet. Florida Statute 877.03. Do you understand? Sir. I'm asking you, sir, do you understand what I'm saying? Sir, call your superior. I'm, I, I'm not going to call my superior. Okay. I'm I need gonna. a copy of this and my business will be concluded for today. If you fill this form correctly, we will do a public request. Otherwise, we will not because we have city can, ordinances. Okay. Can, can have, you look at this? I'm can, not going to look at it. All right. Because you can do it in the front. All right. Hang on to this for a second. I'm not going to hang on to it. Okay. I don't this, have to. All right. This form is filed as is. I'm going to leave it here. Okay. Whether they comply or not, it's right. up to the uh, sworn clerk. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to tell you, you have yep. Florida statutes and you have city ordinances. Do you right. understand? I want you to understand this. This is our official public request form for the city. Which is not required. Yes, it is for no, our sir. city. No, sir. So do you if have you a business card with your email? Understand, if you do not fill this out, your public request will not be granted. If you come back inside and you disturb their peace and their quiet, you will be arrested. You understand that? Here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't answer questions. You understand that? Here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, perfect. Here's what I'm going to tell you. This conversation is over. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave this on the counter. You will not leave that on the counter because they will not accept it. You understand? Sir. This is our official form for public records request. Sir, again. Can I have your name? It is not required. You're not going to give me my name. You ask for my name. I give you the courtesy of giving you my name, my rank, and my ID number, and you cannot have the same courtesy of giving me your name? You have a duty. Here's Perfect. one thing that I'm going to tell you, sir. This conversation can I ask for not. your business card? Of course you can have okay. my business card. You've been a police officer for several years. I am going to interview the people you Here arrested. You go. Everybody you. that you arrested, I am day, going sir. to interview. Come on. Okay. Day. Likewise. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I just need to hand my form here. If you cause a scene in here 
and you disturb the peace and quiet, I already said what will happen. You can leave the form. That's right. perfectly fine. They will well, not accept here, it. Here, under your supervision while you're here. There's no supervision. Okay. I already told you it will not Sir, be accepted. this is my public record request. You have you a pleasant day. Audit then left the public records request sheet even though he was advised not to by this officer who in my opinion didn't really deal with the situation as best as he could. Uh, he seemed triggered, he shouldn't really have been there, it was a waste of his time and the other officer's time and that all boils down to the male Karen who is uh, the manager of this building. They shouldn't have called the cops in the first place. Apparently they are saying the audit them is harassing the workers there simply by asking to file the verbal complaint rather than having it written or uh, doing it through the internet online on a computer. What difference does it make? Are the workers really lazy that they can't actually write things down? Are they not paid to do these things? I have a million questions right now that I could spend two hours on this video uh, adding commentary and criticizing but I won't go there because It'll just get boring for you guys. So let's end the video here. Before we go, please comment down below your opinion and go and subscribe to Audit Them if you haven't already. Um, the two channels I featured today will be a link down below in the description. Drop a like on today's video. Could we get 2,000 likes? And subscribe if this is your first time here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.